Hello Savik TV family welcome to this episode and here man Savik is really excited I'm just wanna share uh, my trip to Rwanda with you guys as you've seen in the title so uh, basically this might not really seem as a big thing to many people but to me it's a big thing it's a win however small it is because uh, it's my second time traveling out of the country but it's my first time traveling by air so yeah i was really excited for this trip because i had not used a plane before yes you can see there are local flights and all that but i've not had an opportunity of using them before so uh what happened here is that uh, i was held a bit at the airport because my return ticket wasn't uh, very much sorted but later we sorted it out and i got my tickets and i was able to now proceed to check in so at this point i'd actually checked in and i was waiting for the you know the time now to leave for the departure time to come because we had checked in just waiting at the bay uh, with the rest of the travelers so we just here chilling waiting so actually i got to the airport at around 3:30 p.m. Uh, rather 3:30 a.m. in the morning because the flight was uh, scheduled for 5:30 so i had to be in on time to for check in and all that i was with my family my wife my son and my uh, brother in law so we were all there just uh, you know waiting for this opportunity waiting to experience this uh, entire opportunity so at that point we are now uh, joining we are going to the plane so we went in via some bus there so uh, the plane is right there so at first i was shocked because uh, the ticket had booked was for boeing 7 737-800 but what i found there was a bombardier plane so Bombardia plane is a small plane uh, what we normally use for commercial flights are local domestically uh, the likes of jumbo jet so that is the plane that we got there and so okay. uh, how is this for our departure and uh, we climbed to 24000 feet above mean sea level and weather partly cloudy today we'll try to give you as much right as much as possible i'm getting close to kigali i'll get back to you with a bit of weather around kigali and uh, flight time be one hour 25 minutes on behalf of Rwanda Air, entire crew, I wish you pleasant flight, sit back and relax, and enjoy the flight. Thank you. So I actually got seat number four. I was seated uh, immediately behind the business class. So I was seeing how those guys were treated. You know the way they got very good, uh, very heavy breakfast. I mean, th th there is a lot of space where they're seated, and then of course, I mean, they're segregated. They have their own toilet and all that. I mean, I really wish that someday, you know, I can easily and equally afford business class. So. We are about to take off. We're just leaving uh, the airport, and there we are now. We're on the skies, so we can have a look at how Nairobi looks uh, by night. So you can't clearly tell what it is, but you see a lot of light. So basically, that's Nairobi for us. Yeah. So after a few minutes uh, on air, uh, there we are now, cruising at 2,400 uh, miles above uh, sea level able to now see the clouds and all that so we are in there then later we're now getting closer it is like an hour later so we left the airport at around 6 5 30 5 50 ish, 6 so we are bound to get to kigali at around 7 30 a.m uh so it's around seven ish seven seven there that's when we are now getting closer to kigali so you can now the plane has left the skyline. I mean, it's lower now. It's at a very low altitude, so you can easily see. Uh, you can at least have a glimpse of what is happening at the ground. So, yeah, we're getting closer and closer. So, uh, now that is Kigali for us. It's Kigali for you. So, you can see the tiny buildings uh, down there. But you can... Something is very notable that this place is really hilly. So, you can see a lot of hills all over a lot of a lot of hills all over so yeah it's very it's a mountainous place uh, so to say yeah it's, there are a lot of two hills uh, up and up early. it doesn't really look as flat as uh, i had thought so yeah that was my first shock because you know the stories we hear about Rwanda, the stories we hear about kigali about the cleanliness about everything else so i expected that maybe it's a flat place or something of the sort yeah, but uh, basically that's uh, the aerial view of uh, the aerial view of uh, Kigali. So we are approaching the airport gradually. So we'll of course get more and more clearer images as we progress from uh, this point uh, onwards. So 
yeah man that was the trip uh, and there we go so i think these are water body down there probably some big rivers over there that uh, but still i can't seem to get a very very clear picture of the same because i was trying to zoom but you know again zooming from a very high distance sometimes may not get you the best of images that you might expect yeah and then guys so yeah we are proceeding gradually we are getting closer and closer to closer and closer to the airport so definitely images are becoming more clearer so let's proceed let's press on as we get closer and closer to our destination so one thing to note is that uh, Rwanda is actually uh, an hour behind Kenyan time so in Kenya Tanzania and uh, Uganda we use the East African uh, East African time uh, so we are ahead of uh, Rwanda by one hour. So we left uh, Kenya at 6:30, rather 5 5:30ish, uh, closer to 6, expecting to land in uh, Kigali at 7:30. But by the time we are landing at Kigali it's around 6:30ish. G- uh, that is Rwandan time. So get the difference. So yeah, you you left very early. You thought that you could maybe get here when the sun is up, but again, you're getting to your destination when it's still very early over there. Guys are even yet to report to work. So we are now getting clearer images of um, Kigali, you see. Uh, we are closer to the ground, so images are very clear now. It's a very, very beautiful house, as you can see, you know, from the way. And again, as I said, it's very hilly, so you can still see the hills even uh, from a distance. Yeah, but it has nice buildings from what you can tell uh, as per the aerial view can't really tell whether they are that good because I never had an opportunity to get closer to them but as you can see the way the city is arranged the city organization definitely it's very it's very beautiful yeah the the, the, the houses are arranged very well the city planning basically is uh, very good so yeah I think we can clearly see how the place looks like so I really had the I really had the urge, you know, to go down and just, you know, get to have, get to visit the place. But uh, maybe I'll get this opportunity next time. Well, just uh, strictly to just go in as a tourist, you know, get to tour the place, get to know this town, you know, experience the life there, the lifestyle there. And then, of course, it will definitely be here live on Savik TV. So I'll always share such moments with you guys. So yeah, there we are, closer and closer to our destination. So destination one was, uh, of course, Kigali. And then, of course, later I'll now share part two of my journey. Now, not to Kigali, but to another city. So stay tuned to watch the next city that you're going to. We've landed in Kigali. There we are at the airport. So what happens after we leave the airport? What happens after we leave this airport? Where are we headed to next? Yeah, because as you got to see when I shared my tickets, I had two tickets. One ticket was in the Bombardier to this place, and then I've told you I have another ticket now for the Boeing 737-800. So where am I heading to after this? Yeah, stay tuned. Check out part two of this, and you definitely get to know the other city that I got as an opportunity to visit and how my trip was to that particular city. So here we are. We've just landed. So on the runway uh, to our stop so that we can disembark from the plane. And of course, you know, get to now um, switch or connect now to the next plane so that we can get to our final destination. So there are a lot of travelers in this Bombardier, in this Bombardier flight, in this uh, Bombardier plane that I'm in, who are equally traveling to the destination that I'm heading to. So yeah, we're quite a number. And yeah, so we are at Rwanda, Kigali International Airport right there. So you can see a lot of Rwanda Air, Rwanda Air airplanes, or Rwanda Air aircraft they are over there at uh, Kigali International Airport a lot of them and uh, yeah there we are so we are coming to a stop uh, it's taking time but <laughs> eventually we will get to a stop and of course get to a light from the plane so 
that guys can take a rest probably do breakfast before uh proceeding to their next destinations actually i failed to share one detail about this journey we did have breakfast but it was a very light one as i told you uh, the guys uh, uh, the business class definitely enjoyed more but with us i think it was uh, either juice or tea and some uh macadamia nuts that is what you were offered because it was a one hour journey it was a very brief journey but in the second part of this video you definitely and because it would be a longer trip so we'll get to share even more details the meals and everything more details of such will be shared in the second video so as you can see there is a vehicle there that is coming to pick us that bus it's getting closer to uh, of course get to pick us yeah and we are now in that bus the plane has uh, everyone has left the plane so off we are into the airport i mean into the waiting bay for processing again uh, to connect to the next flight so the Rwandan, uh, we are at Kigali International Airport, so the guys at the airport are actually clearing us, the immigration team and all that. They're checking our documents, whether they are valid, whether you have valid ticket for the next trip. Yeah, and whether your visa is, uh, you know, you, you have all the right papers that you need. So this is a passport control section for the economy class. So basically I flew economy all through, so it's the economy class that is being uh, processed here. And mimi ni nani lazima ningefika choko kuona choko iko namna gani and i had to visit the toilet to just tell the standards and then of course there we are now uh, being searched you know sc uh, being screened as we progress to the waiting bay for the next trip so there we are man that's my journey to rwanda that's how my experience was from jkia in nairobi to kigali international airport in rwanda so i'll get to share more about my trip in the next video stay tuned guys and as usual subscribe